Buenos dias. Welcome to Lección 8, another Stepping Stones lesson, Papas y Sol. I'm going to call out two numbers now, and I want you to point to them before I circle them. Catorce dieciséis. Catorce dieciséis. And I want you to not ask each other, what do you say, what do you say? Just be brave and listen to the noise inside your head, and it'll come back to you. Once veinte. Once veinte. Quince dieciocho. Quince dieciocho. Quince dieciocho. Diecinueve trece. Diecinueve trece. Now let's dial some numbers in double double digits and first let's do them in single digits. Siete, siete, ocho, uno, 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 catorce. Now let's do it differently. Siete, siete, ocho, once, catorce. Seis, ocho, nueve, uno, ocho, uno, Nueve. So we have seis ocho nueve. Dieciocho. Diecinueve. Try this one. Nueve. Ocho. Nueve. Hmm. What will this one be in double digits? Veinte. Diecisiete. You know that patos come in lots of colors, and sometimes they come in several colors on one duck. So I'm going to give you this sentence up here. El pato es rosado y negro. The duck is pink and black. And I'm going to ask you now to point to the correct colors before I mark them. El pato es verde morado. El pato es rojo y anaranjado. El pato es rojo y anaranjado. El pato no es negro y gris. El pato no es negro y gris. No es. El pato es azul y morado. El pato es azul y morado. El pato es moreno y verde. El pato es moreno y verde. El pato es... Moreno y verde. El pato es azul y anaranjado. Azul y anaranjado. Some people like to complain to their parents, I don't have anything. All my friends do. No tengo nada. I don't have nothing. But in Spanish, this is the way we say, I don't have anything. No tengo nada. I don't have nothing. So let's just see. What kind of animals, what kind of pets does somebody not have? I, no tengo mascota. I don't have a pet. No tengo mascota. No tengo nada. No tengo vaca. No tengo araña. No tengo caballo. No tengo perro. No tengo gato. 
Well, that can't be so bad. So this is a way for you to go home and complain tonight. Just complain about everything. What 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 is it that you don't have? Just say no tengo and then say it. No tengo vaca. No tengo araña. No tengo caballo. No tengo perro. No tengo gato. Hay una araña en el perro. And there's una araña en el caballo. Hay una araña en el gato. One way to practice Spanish is to sing while you draw, like this. Arañitita subió el canalón. Uh oh, we need a canalón. Okay. You can call it a gutter or a downspout. Well, mine's getting a little bit carried away here. Cayo la lluvia y se la llevó. Oh, there goes the the arañititita. No, lluvia washed him out. Salió el sol. Seco la lluvia. Y... Hang on, I gotta get the downspout going again. All the way up there. Y otra vez la araña subió el canalón. Let's look at the word sol. Salió el sol. Out came the sun. Spanish helps us understand English and other languages better. Take the word solar. It means that it has something to do with the sun. El sol. Like solar power. Power that we get from el sol. The solar system that we live in. The planets go around el sol. And then we have winter solstice and the summer solstice. This is the shortest day of the year and the longest day of the year. So, Spanish can help us understand English and other languages better. Let's bring mamá y papá, our papás, into the family now. This is mamá and papá. And we'll pretend that this is mine or that this is your mamá y papá. So, together they are your Papas. So, mi mamá, mi papá, mis papas, my parents, my mom and dad. But not potatoes, that would be papas. Now, this is kind of interesting in Espanol. You know, we, the word ma is very common. And so, uh, you will have, even in Espanol, you will hear people often say, ma. In, if we use these letters, which aren't really Chinese, but we can use this. In Mandarin Chinese, ma is the word for mom also. Not ma, that would not be mom. And not ma, that would not be mom. But ma. And then the word for dad in in various languages, the word for dad would be not not with a p. That's this is this is okay in some languages. They'll say pa, but I am talking about something that sounds like it, but it's not it. Now listen closely. Pa, pa. It's not p or b. It's in between there. At any rate, you can call your dad or your mom ma or ba and you'll be speaking other languages. Mm -hmm.